Ventricular fibrillation. VFib is a chaotic rhythm without any discernible pattern. The rhythm consists of completely disorganized electrical activity with undulations of varying shape and amplitude. It's so chaotic that if you were to draw an illustration of it, chances are that your sketch would actually be more organized. Essentially, the ECG just looks like a mess. There aren't any QRS complexes, P waves, or T waves. VFib is one of the most common dysrhythmias that can cause cardiac arrest. Instead of the heart contracting in a coordinated manner, it just quivers and twitches. Circulation ceases, and within seconds it leads to loss of consciousness and apnea. This is a very important rhythm to recognize because it requires immediate action. It will deteriorate to asystole and death if not treated rapidly. Fortunately, ventricular fibrillation is one of the shockable rhythms. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation should be provided while defibrillator is being obtained, and a shock should be delivered once the rhythm is identified. Following the shock, CPR should resume for two minutes before another pulse and rhythm check is performed. To reiterate, CPR commences immediately after the shock is delivered. It is essential to keep interruptions in CPR to a minimum. For more information on management, please check out the latest ACLS algorithms. Now just one more thing I would like to add in regards to the ECG. Ventricular fibrillation can be classified as coarse or fine. In coarse VF, fibrillatory waves are 3 mm or more in amplitude. In fine VF, the fibrillatory waves are less than 3 mm in amplitude. When the amplitude of the waves is low, the ECG reading may be confused with asystole. The distinction is important because asystole is not a shockable rhythm.